Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's been hanging out with me all afternoon, thanks for sticking around. We just finished a Lego stream and we've switched over to Minecraft for the rest of the day. If you're coming in new, we are working on the Citadel Iron Farm, which was broken and ugly and outdated. And now it's very tall. <laughs> it looks a lot different. Looks a lot different. Uh, I actually have this is an old. Uh, oh, that's not working. I thought that I fixed that. I thought that I fixed the overlay thing. There's the thumbnail of what it used to look like. That's what it used to look like. I might have to reset my Stream Deck. Stream Deck has an update right now, and they, um, they crash whenever you update it. So there's something going on with the Stream Deck. Uh, anyway. This is the iron farm, and we've got everything decorated. Uh, I don't know yet what to do at the top. I'm going to leave the top like that for now. Uh, actually, I might pop up a little bit and just kind of make it look like it makes sense, but for for the sake of having access to it, if we ever need, uh, I don't think it's important to put a dome on top of it. We're, no one's ever going to see it from above. It's really only ever going to be seen from down here. Um, but now we have to give ourselves some room around it and we have to figure out how to craft the ingots into uh iron blocks so we got to put in the glass we started this in the front and i do like this so we're going to do the same thing on the back and then get rid of the scaffolding and we are officially done with all the high up stuff so let's get cracking on that All right, uh, I need glass panes. Don't need to have my shaders on right now. I'll go with two stacks for now. And we'll go do more as we need. Uh, I also need shroom lights, which I have. Bushes, which I have. I might need a little bit more green carpet. Berries, uh, oh, I need some dark oak stuff. I'm gonna need stairs, potentially slabs, and certainly the full blocks. That should be good. All right, first things first, we'll throw a couple of extra leaf blocks up here just to make the inside look like it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, stuff like the, this corner here feels very weird and square. So all I want to do is just toss in a couple things like that. And we don't need to have carpet in here, but I think I will just for visuals. And then same thing over here. Oh, I did not mean to fall in here. So maybe we'll do a little leaf block there. Now I don't want to mess with these slabs. I feel like it's important that they are slabs and not transparent blocks. So I'm going to leave those the way that they are. I think really that was about it. Maybe we'll have a little bit more happening here. I need to remember this combination of green carpet and moss. I think it's a really nice, subtle shift. Actually, we can probably do a little bit of that here too, just because we can, right? All 
I think maybe this could be that. And that side feels okay. Again, it's a little square over here, but I don't want to mess with this. If I make this full blocks, I could put carpet on top of it, maybe? But I think I'll just leave it like that. This does feel a little funny. Maybe we'll get rid of that. Cool. Okay. So then down to the next level. Do I have scaffolding? I do. Well, wasn't what I planned, but we'll do it anyway. My trip media, thanks again for another 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Disco743, thanks for the follow. That's awesome. So if I remember correctly, if we look at the front, I had to extend the um, copper blocks out and then put stairs underneath them. So I will do that. And then we chop this away. And then this gets replaced with a shroom light and a bush and then a stair and then a glass pane. Oh, I didn't realize that was in the way. Uh, I'll have to remember this. Empty, glowberry, empty. I'll replace that. So then same thing here. This is going to be that. And glass paint. And then around the side. Remember there's a bush block here. This is also going to be I think it's that and a glass pane. It seems like it makes a lot of sense. I don't know why this is still here then, because this we could probably change to be extra leaf block. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of putting glass pane on the side. Oh, and changing, changing that. So this gets changed to a full block. I feel like that makes sense. Why is that there? Because I put that too low. That is supposed to be a full block, and then this, and then I can put these back. And then I put these back, and I glow bury the middle. And we're good. And then the glass, of course, I can put in from below.
Uh, hello, I've been looking for you forever. <laughs> it's just my name everywhere. I listen to the Spawn Chunks while you're at, while I'm at work, and I always think to myself, I have to follow you, but I never remember your name when I get home. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't say that twice a show, every show. I'm just teasing, Disco. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. P1, hello, welcome in. I need to sleep. I'll be very happy not to listening to that zombie anymore. Would I ever consider joining a different server? Uh, yep. Uh, I the problem with different servers is very often uh, they are usually made up of Minecraft YouTubers, either YouTube streamers or people that make edited videos on YouTube. And I don't have the time to edit videos, so I I do stream only and upload vods, and I've never been invited. Um, I think one of the downsides of having such a big project like West Hill, and a big server like I shouldn't say big a long-term server like the Citadel is that um, I think a lot of people assume that I just wouldn't be interested or wouldn't have time, but I would very much like to, um, to work on a, on a server, uh, do something different. But again, like it's all, you know, you can't invite yourself, right? Like you kind of have to be invited by the people organizing it. I guess it would also depend on the situation. Like something that I've I've said before on stream, I think it would be really fun to go back to Skyblock in a multiplayer situation. I think that could be fun. It would remove the grind out of it, so to speak. All right, so that gets replaced with a shroom light. And then we've got Leaf block there, solid block there. I, we do a stair here and a stair, oops, on this side. Replace this with a solid and I think we're good. And that, I think, is the last of the very high stuff outside of just bringing these panes all the way up with us. I'm going to leave the scaffolding here just for now. I'm really looking forward to all the little details that we'll add down here too. Iron Farm looks super cool. Thanks. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too. I really like the um, the boiling pot, the melting pot. The window works really, really well for when an iron golem is there. You can really see them being um, face melted. All right, let's put our other scaffolding back here. And we'll go up to there. Whoops. Now this is glass blocks. So this is just going to be pains, and it is going to be a pain. Uh, it's the easiest way to do this. Probably just straight up the middle.
It's a lot easier to aim at the sides. Glad that I have enough. At least for this side. Yeah, they take a damage just briefly, don't they? Uh, I guess I'll just do... Sandstone? Probably sandstone. I think that's everything. I'm gonna just fly around here to double check. Looks even to me. Nice. Now, we are going to need more before I go all the way up there. I guess I'll just do another stack. Hmm. Hopefully that'll do us. Funny how stuff like this requires just enough concentration that it's hard to talk over. Oh, did I run out? No, okay, just... Oh, I think we made enough. Sweet. Just a little bit to spare. Double check before we hop down. Looks good to me. Did I forget anything over there? I don't think I did. Now, can I? No. Nope. Oh, thought I could get there. I might be able to reach from down here. Yep. Sweet, that's the top done. No longer required. Very cool. I'm quite happy with that. It's wild sometimes, the stuff that you come up with in Minecraft when you just kind of build off the cuff. Neat. Okay, let's clear the inventory because my man, I am done having a clog of stuff in here. Didn't end up needing the frog lights after all.
do I put the extra glow berries? I guess I could make room in here, maybe? Okay, very cool. Off-the-cuff builds are always different, too. Yeah, yeah, without a lot of planning, it's, uh, it's nice to do something different, you know? Yeah, thanks, Grandpa Crafter. Yeah, what I was trying to do was combine uh, the design styles of farms in the area with, um, with the, the moss farm. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, I was going to fly up and show folks stuff in the distance, but our render distance is now back to 16. Because I updated Sodium, Sodium now renders the glass a lot better. Remember we were having these weird little glitches where some faces were culling oddly? Well, now water and all kinds of stuff render the right way through... Um, through stained glass it still looks a little bit lighter but it's not as bad as it used to be it used to look like the glass just didn't exist um sodium still doesn't render the other side of the block so i think it doesn't do the fog effect but um it's a beta beta version of sodium unfortunately the beta version of sodium breaks the bobby mod so i used to have a bobby mod for rendering my personal client farther than the server i used to do like a 28 chunk render uh with fog and now we're just doing the server is rendering 24 chunks but i i don't know if i'm getting that what can i see can i see i can see the reds i can see the um nether ward farm so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight so that's 19 I guess I'm seeing a little bit beyond that. Maybe not. I'm not sure why. Oh, you know what? It's because um, the server hasn't reset yet. That's why. That's why. So technically the server is still showing me 16 chunks. That, that's why it feels so, so low. Okay, so that is done and working. So what I would like to do now is address the collection address the amount of room we have when we exit the collection and also address this stuff i'm happy with the way that this is looking so far uh this is where you're going to see it in a second here there's where the goodies come in the iron gets filtered out and spat up there and the poppies go around the corner and go up this way so i i don't think we have to mess with this too much but what i would like to do is think about how much room I would like here and then adjust this room accordingly. Uh, one thing we can do is take the coordinates of this portal and note those to myself. So this is negative, so negative 69, 72, and 315. And I'll just double check to see where we are in the nether. All of our portals are built on three wide blocks, so they always have a middle block. So in the nether, we are at uh, zero, 135. This is a fun way to give notes to yourself, by the way. If you've got a pretty slow chat on a multiplayer server, then you can um, leave yourself notes. So I don't know if that's perfectly lined up, but we'll see. I also want to keep zombie pigmen from 
coming through because they are annoying. All right, quick math on stream. Uh, so we're off by eight blocks on the x-axis, so that could move. Um, we don't have to do the y and 315 divided by 8 equals 39. So we're close. We're close. We're off by four blocks, and then we're off by eight blocks on the x and the z in the nether. Um, so 64 divided by 8 equals... So this should be negative 64 and what's 35 times 8, 280. Oh, we're off by quite a bit. Point is I might have to move the portal. Okay, uh, first things first, I would like to have at least three blocks and we only have not even one because I really want to have the same design out front here. So I'll put that down. What do we have? We've got that kind of footprint. And then potentially we'll have glass and stuff there, that or campfires. So let's pop in here. This is only two blocks. And I want to have three, and that pushes us back. One, two, three, plus whatever happens in here. Might be worth going to get a beacon. And we can't go down because we've got the collection system down there. Although there's a couple of blocks. What do we have for distance there actually? We are at 71 and this is 65, six, seven, eight. So we've got three blocks, that's good. That's a good callback, Sandy, to the uh, satisfactory stream. Hold on to your screws. I'm really looking forward to Satisfactory 1.0. I was mentioning this in the LEGO stream. We will 100% be playing some Satisfactory in the next coming weeks as we get our Devastator save ready for 1.0. I guess I should have taken a screenshot of this before I really start ripping it down. So I want to have at least this much space. So I feel like if you came out of a door at this level, this would be enough room. We also, oh, we've got a column there to think about. Okay, to think about that. We could also just not have a door here. We could actually have the door be either over here or we could tunnel through this side, uh, remove this entirely, and come out inside here. 
Probably about there. What do, what do you think, chat? Should should we... Have I tried to um, merge the two saves in Satisfactory yet? No, I have not. That's on my list to do behind the scenes. I think I have to make a copy of my save before I try it. Should we... Should we come out here, like in line? Should the door be kind of like in this section? Because I can move all of the guts. The guts are very easy to move around. This is not a big deal. Because if we want to have access out here, because this is one of the only nether portals in the area, so it's kind of important that people have access to it. But what do we think? Should we have just... A solid hill behind this? I mean, if we have a small door back there, you're never going to see it. You're going to have to know that it's there. It'd be like a little door like that. And we'll just have it back here. And maybe we don't do it high up. Maybe we keep it low. Maybe we'll drop this all down by a block or two, right? Tunnel through, one door in the area is enough? Yeah. That would be the simplest thing, I think. And there's a water tunnel here somewhere. Right there. So this... Right. So this starts to get into the the kind of nuts and bolts of the landscaping as well. We are obviously not going to have a square hole back here. Thanks for the lurk, super fast. Appreciate it. So it looks like we have to move the water collection anyway. So I should really rethink how we're doing this. All right, well, if we had a door, it would very likely be here. Right, potential door. Right, double door there. I think that's probably where it could go. The red-headed Jew. That's an interesting user handle. Hey, Joel, long time listener to the Spawn Chunks. Glad to finally catch a stream. Thank you ever so much for coming in and thank you for listening to the Spawn Chunks. I'm glad you like the show. It's been a really fun six years of doing that podcast. I really like it. Uh, potential door, which means the portal, what did I say? If we want to stay true to the nether, then it's negative 64, which is just farther this way. So I don't want to do that. Uh, the other one is 35 times 8, which I think is 280. Yeah, 280. So 280 is a long way in this direction. 280 might be in the other room. Yeah. We're 
we're not exact with our nether portal. So we could put a different portal. Where is there a portal? I, oh, I forgot to check what direction we face. I'm pretty sure we go in and out facing the correct way. We are facing north. No, west. Facing west. And we exit facing west. Okay, that's good. East. And then east. Okay. So I'd want the portal facing east. I think it makes sense just to just to drop the portal to be in line with the door. That or we find a space here to put the portal. But then we still have to get to the collection. Yeah, I think the portal has to stay in that general area. So we come out of the portal. What's going to be the most convenient way to get our iron? And then what's the experience of coming out this door? Well, this door lines up. I'm sure I did that on purpose. So we have an exit and look at the iron farm from here. even though this is the front of it. You started on episode one of the Spawn Chunks. Holy smacks, that's like 300 plus episodes. If you tunnel through, you could have all the chests where the poppies are now and the crafter where the iron chests are now. Yeah. Yeah, I could have, we could come in here, turn right, have the chests on both sides. And then we could have, maybe we could have the stuff going through the ceiling. Or we could have it just go, go farther underground and just come up behind the portal. I'm thinking that this is probably the easiest thing to do is just tunnel through. Because if I move, if I move all this stuff in here, just to kind of give everybody an overview, if I move all the stuff in that space down there, that means we can do whatever we want this with this mountain. We can just take it right down to whatever. So let's try the whole tunnel thing. If this, so I I like this staircase though. Maybe if this was. Yeah, I really don't want to mess with this part. That's the hard part about tunneling through. We'd have to have like a tunnel there. And that feels really kind of sketchy. And it messes with my drop shaft. Okay. Yeah. So we don't see this is the thing I forgot about the water elevator and the drop shaft here. So I don't really have the room to tunnel. So I think we just shift this all to be aligned with this and we'll move, we'll have to move everything back, I think, to give myself some, some room here. So what I should do is take off a good three blocks of this mountain or anticipate taking off three blocks of this mountain at least.
So we'll plan a new nether portal back here. And I'm just realizing that this is a three wide nether portal, but this is a two wide build. So we'll have to change that a bit too. So we'll go maybe four wide. And what will I use for the nether portal? Let's just do this for now. That's the new nether portal. Should link up, it's not that far from the other one. And this is just green stuff behind that you can't really see. Oh. I wish the nether portal texture was something you could control. I guess I could change my texture pack and make it less uh, opaque. That would be cool. I do like these new little inside projects where you've got a cave and you don't have to worry about what it looks like from the outside. You can just kind of do whatever you want on the inside. And we'll give it some room over here. So this is the middle here. And I don't know if we're keeping dark oak, but this is just the easiest way to line things up. Pretty straightforward. We'll make it look probably nice and new. It's a little claustrophobic. That has to stay, that has to stay, this can go. Outside snowy mountain, inside cozy pink flower cave? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Flowers. Why does everybody want flowers? <laughs> You know of one that would like flowers? Yeah, me too. Okay, so that's going to be the new middle. Which means we probably want... 
Same sort of idea here. I thought this was enough room. There's two blocks of space and then the chests. So we'll do two blocks of space and then the chests. But everything should get moved back by three blocks. So I'd say our first chest should be maybe here. And I don't think we need three chests. I think maybe a double chest of iron blocks should be enough. Maybe two. And so we can change them to just be like this way, right? So come through the portal, we could have crafting bench or something cool on the floor if we need to. I could also do some decoration here as well. Or we'd have something like this. Uh, yeah, that doesn't give a lot of room. I might want to push that back by another block. Zero T triple six subscribed for 14 months. Thanks ever so much. I really appreciate it. You do have more room to dig out. Don't make things too small. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's what I'm thinking of. That's what I'm thinking of here. So I'm thinking like if we take this mountain back by another three blocks, that's only one, that's not even enough space. So I have to anticipate three blocks of the mountain going away. So I want three blocks of space, three blocks of the mountain. I think I'd like to have three more blocks. So three blocks of space, three blocks of mountain, and then three blocks to the interior. So I need to go back like at least another three blocks. You can see why I'm roughing this out first, right? I don't think we're hitting the outside just yet. Oh, we are. There's the grass. So we're pushing our luck. I thought that was a lot thicker. It would be neat if you could see the portal from back here. I'd say it's about there. Maybe we could have a back door too. Although, I guess if you saw the portal, that would open it up to mobs coming in. So I'll have to be careful there. We could also just landscape and build that up. Vacation time is over. Oh, no. Well, welcome back, Zero. Good to have you.
That's right. So what did I say before? Three blocks of space, three blocks of mountain, and then three blocks of potential inside, giving us this space. And then two blocks here. I had that framed out front, so maybe we'll do that instead. That definitely gives us some design space. I'm not too worried about that. All right, well, while I'm thinking about what to do here, uh, I'm going to take a break. It is about that time for me. If you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me an opportunity to refresh my water, grab a little bit of a stretch. Uh, you can too. Also, feel free to grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. Uh, I need to find a safe place to AFK now. I guess I'll just fly back to my cabin. Could go to the nether, but hey, there might be some people here that have not seen Dartmouth Meadows in a while. So these are some of the designs that we've been staying true to from seven years ago with the glass and the bright colors and stuff. Anyway, I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Just thinking maybe we'll sleep and walk back. For anybody that's not seen this path. And plus, we can see the iron farm from the meadows, which I don't think I realized. Just wait for the chunks to load in. So you can see how I'd want to have some of this mountain removed so we can see some of the hard work that we've put in. But this is our spawn town for anybody that has not been here before. And this is the path back to spawn. The actual spawning area on the server. Which I haven't changed yet, actually. I need to um, change the, the redstone spawning area so that this farm actually works. It's working now because I'm standing next to it, but when you're not loading it in, it will not will not go. I could see there being a back entrance here very easily. Especially if we had a little footbridge over the waterfall or something, that could be kind of fun. Happy, good to see you. Sorry you had a rough week, but glad that you're here. Okay. I'm also just realizing I don't have to mimic this dark oak and green design because the base of this now has got a lot of magma and orange and copper. So we could have a brand new look to all of this. This could be very deep slate and copper and we could have copper pipes in the ceiling and all kinds of fun stuff so i think i'm going to focus on creating something new here i don't think oh that's a lot of gravel i don't think um i'm not sure whether i should be Designing this first or setting up the function of this first? Probably should do the design first would be my guess, which is again <laughs> yet another stream where I'm not going to be actually implementing the crafter. I'm probably just going to end up putting that down below anyway. Definitely, I almost need some new shulker boxes or something. We should probably go for two double chests. Be my guess. I feel like that's a decent enough space. Well, maybe what I should do is figure out the best way to implement the crafter down below. Did I cover up my access? No. So right now that's the water column and that's not gonna stay there. That's gonna have to change, which means that this filter is gonna have to move. And we can put the filter anywhere back along here. So what's probably going to happen is we're probably going to push out in that direction. And we'll pull the um, the ingots out first. Probably, uh, yeah, probably in some deeper water. So we'll probably use one of these spots to pull out the ingots. And then... We'll do the crafting into the iron blocks before it goes into the water stream. And then from the water stream, it will go up and get put into this area. So I'm going to anticipate having the water column farther to the left here, to the south. So 
So how could we make this look cool? Probably some deep slate. I guess what I really need to do is test this nether portal to see if this is going to work. I do not have very much obsidian. At least not with me. Probably have to take it down from here. Yikes. Do I really not have that much obsidian? Oh, there's some. That should be enough. I just don't want to test the portal over and over again. I'd like to break one and then use the other. Where's a good storage spot around here? I guess... I could go back to my place in the meadows. That's probably the best place to try to get enough obsidian. That was a that was a munch in one dimension and a burp in the other. A trans-dimensional burp. Only in Minecraft. Now I don't know. Trying obsidian. One block of obsidian. I don't think there'd be any obsidian in the block silo. Well, I guess. I'm trying to think about the easiest place to go get some. I know Cosmic said I could borrow some, but Cosmic's is far away. Let's just see if MacCast has any obsidian. He's usually okay with me borrowing for community builds. MacCast has not been online in a while. Sorry for all the UI blinking. That's where you'd think it, Sidian would be. Aha! Wow! Okay. We're gonna... Borrow a half stack. He'll be fine. past the portal. I really need to come back and redesign this now that we've got uh, vine growth turned off. That portal could look a lot cooler. Oh, that's the wrong direction. So I'm going to be moving this over this way. How tall do I want this? bit of everything.
No wonder I feel lost when you almost get lost. Yeah, that's fair. Fair assessment. So I was going at this with spruce, but really what it should be is probably something that mimics what's happening outside. Yeah. Except I put that in the wrong spot. I feel like it has to be that tall. I don't think this is going to look good if it's... Yeah. We'll probably end up doing... Maybe copper? Or maybe deep slate stairs? I can't decide if I want to go off the pillar design or if I want to go off the melting pot design or the portal. Probably the melting pot would be better. Yeah, that's probably going to be cooler. Yeah, melting pot. I think so too. So we'd go probably tiles up this way. And then probably come in. Oops. And unfortunately, we can't change the color of nether portals. I wish we could. It would be cool. So then this block back here, I mean, once we light the portal, you won't be able to see what this is, but it would be cool if we could focus on um, maybe magma blocks would be cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that through the portal. Probably not. We have a portal we can test. That's good. Uh, you'll see some of it, I guess. That's a weird texture. Maybe we go shroom light instead. That's very repetitive, too.
maybe some of these are going through the portal. What could we put back there? Maybe I can put some lava in the floor or something. Could put glass in a color. So I could just do glass. Because maybe this isn't dark oak. Like maybe this is a lot more tile and stuff, right? Although, maybe that's a good spot to put black nether brick. This is a custom texture, so I try not to use it too much. And then in the middle, we could have some sort of lava feature. I'd like to have some depth and some pipes and stuff. It'd be fun. So one idea that I was thinking of would be to get some copper. And make some of those pipes. Meadow, hello, hello. More colors of nether brick would be nice. Yeah, I agree. So here we could have something like this on the ceiling, right? Maybe not right there, but we could certainly have something similar to that. Yeah. And I guess I have to think about having both poppies and um, do we, I guess we could just, do we want to bother to turn the poppies into like red dye? If I wanted to, I could have this craft white dye, pink dye, red dye. Uh, the bone meal we can get from poppies, right? have the poppies go into a composter there's one right there then I could turn these sideways and just have them have these like have like iron blocks poppies red dye pink dye Yeah, the white dye comes from poppies. You can turn the poppies into bone meal, turn the bone meal into white dye, and then combine the white dye with the red dye to make pink dye. So we'd have to have... I mean, I this may not be the best place to actually have all the white dye, but... It's certainly making a lot of poppies. I feel like it might be a decent spot to create some stuff. No, no, no. Um, 
I'm talking about future chests. So maybe I don't put them this way. Maybe we have to line them up sideways. Because like when you think about what's coming in from an iron farm, we need iron blocks. We need poppies. Then we can do white, red, and pink dye. So iron blocks, poppies, white, red, and pink dye. So we potentially have six chests. Iron blocks, poppies, white, pink, and red dye. And not right there. Maybe we'll use the basalt to frame the, the chests. feel like this needs to go back a block maybe although it's pretty far like you don't want to have to walk all over the place to get your stuff Ooh, we could light the chests from below that could be fun Hold on now. Has a little bit of the nether vibe to it too with all the, the glass that we have in the nether. That could be fun. Wish we had more control over the chests. I guess we could turn these into shulker boxes, although then you wouldn't see the bottom there. It's the nice thing about chests. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. You obviously change that to be a different color, different texture. Maybe we use. Another blocks again. This is me just completely spitballing live on stream. Thinking about how to get some of these color schemes to work. Well, they'd have to have hoppers behind them anyway. That's a little low. Maybe we don't do that. Just not crazy about that connection, so that's why I was thinking it might be better to have that just a little bit higher, but I guess we could make this room higher too. It's not awful. Sweet Sandy, thank you again for being awesome. So we're probably going to end up having a whole crafting room down below. So 
So when you come through the portal, you come out this way. And I guess there won't be anything on the left. Or maybe we don't need... Maybe we can still have the iron on the left and the poppies on the right. I'm not sure what we would need to have on the left. We could still try to have a tunnel. Um, which would be okay. But defeats the purpose, I guess. All right, well, let's test this out. Is that high enough? I probably want to go one block higher. Uh, do I want to go one block wider as well? I didn't on that side. Test to see. That would probably cover it up anyway. Hmm, I don't know what goes in this space here. Just more bricks. And that feels kind of dumb there. Uh, this could be lights. I put the shroom blocks back. There's room for a lot of chests, that's true. I don't know if we're going to need that many. Oh, we could have campfires instead of shroom lights. That could be kind of fun, although you're not really going to be able to see it. of an eerie glow. Yeah, that feels a little bit strange. Maybe we turn that sideways? Nope. Feels a little cramped. Yeah, I kind of want to push this down. What do we put there? Yeah, that feels strange too. Maybe we move this.
That's a little bit better. And that sort of mimics what we have outside, right? I don't want to just copy it, but it is pretty cool. I don't mind that connection. I mean, we could get rid of it. It's a little cleaner. Question is, do I have room to do that again? So we need five, I think I said. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that starts to push. That's too close can't repeat that so maybe we'll just leave it here and then on the other side we just do a single single one of those and then into the door yeah you're right uh sandy i could do that but we could do we could do iron on one side and die on the other three and three and that would work Right, I could do this. Have this here. Right, repeat the um, the shroom light thing. Whoops, not that. Although, I feel like I'm sort of just repeating the same thing I did outside. Could have that there. And then the door to the outside. Does that leave us enough room? Not quite. It's still a little tighter than I'd like it to be. I mean, we really only need two on this side, not three. I really need to start moving this. So I think what I need to do is have a different chest down below. Not that we really need to continue to capture it. We could just burn it somewhere. Uh, let's just put this... Well, we could just do this here. Uh, what's the fastest way to do this? Temporarily... And then we just have to somehow disable that dropper. What's going to be the easiest way to do that? I'm curious whether this is going to pull before it sends again. It should pull down before it goes forward, right? My understanding of how it works.
We are about to find out. Yep. That should take care of that. Which means we can move some of this with a different inventory altogether. Sometimes it helps to have a clean slate. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll leave the green concrete in the floor here just to make sure we remember where the water column is. Glad I brought all these shulkers with me, man. A lot of stuff. Once you start digging holes, you just accumulate so many blocks. And then we've got like these odd little one block inventory slots. It's a very green chest. That feels like more of the colors we want to work with for now. I would imagine also that trap chests are going to look better because my trap chests are uh, spruce colored. So there's a good chance that that is going to look nicer. Yeah. Wish we could dye our chests. That would be nice too. So first things first, we get everything into block form, and then I guess we'll just put it temporarily in that chest over there. And this is why I want to use the crafter. Granted, this doesn't take very long. So what did I say? Three blocks of space.
So at least three here. I'd imagine that this would not be a square corner. So one, two, three. It's probably going to go back in here. That feels like a decent amount of space. So the door... Oh, did I... I built the whole thing too high. If we don't want to go downstairs at all, I should be building this a lot lower. That was a mistake. Yikes. Again, this is why I roughed this stuff out. This is why I roughed this stuff out. Because I think I'd rather have the door hidden down low, right? So if we had a door... Be here. Scotsman UK, hello, hello. Thanks very much for the raid. What were you up to on stream today? Maybe we should have iron doors. I feel like that's enough room. And then if we came through here... That's what you'd walk out to. I think that's enough room to see it. Yeah, I definitely have to lower that down. Well, that's good. That means we have more room in the ceiling than I thought. Uh, that's going to be handy. Because right now I think we're poking out the backside. Folks coming in with Scotsman UK, welcome in. Thanks ever so much again for the raid, Scotsman. If you're new to my channel, my name is Joel Duggan. I am a podcaster and a streamer, and I am making a mess of my server as I am trying to uh, expand our iron farm capabilities. And uh, it's just an ongoing project that has bled into like 10 streams now folks in my channel if you want to go follow scotsman uk they are a fantastic member of this community but also a, a prolific builder on their own world and uh streams lots of big builds big ideas i think you'll really enjoy it just click that heart in chat give them a follow Yes, I think that would be what we want to do. Uh, Raven Trickster, as for what Scott's was doing, he was working on a Ravager Skulk uh, carving above the cave where he's going to have his Ravager Den. Oh, very cool. That's a fun, that's a fun build. I like that idea. Very, very cool. Uh, folks, if you're coming in from that raid and you need to bail, I appreciate it. Uh, no worries if you've been online for a while. Same thing with you, Scotsman UK. Uh, take care of yourself if you need a break, by all means. Um, I don't think I want to go down. Do we want to go downstairs? Is this something we would want to do? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just go straight out. I think I'd rather just go straight out. I'm not crazy about duplicating these things. Like, I want there to be a wow factor when you walk outside, and I think if we do this inside already, you're kind of um, spoiling the surprise of how that looks out there. So I'll have to come up with something else. Maybe we do the green bits? That stuff? I don't know. 
I like the I like the columns here. I just don't think we want to have them open like that. And Raven was being awesome looking after everyone. That's great. Very, very cool. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm both stumped and out of time. So uh, I really appreciate everyone hanging in. And uh, again, Scotsman, thanks for the raid. We uh, we normally just stream Lego on Fridays, but we decided to do a bit of a double header. So we did some Lego and then we did a two hours of Minecraft. I'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, usual time is one o'clock Atlantic for my Minecraft stream and uh, we'll be picking up where I left off and probably testing out portals, dropping things down. I'll have more room for stuff like that, which is good. And uh, I'm not sure about that kind of a design. We might stick with that as a kind of a, 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 th a way to throw people off, thinking like that looks really simple, but then you walk inside, it's not simple at all. We might do something like that over here as well. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. We are obviously retrofitting now the guts of the iron farm. We have finished the guts of, or the, um, the exterior design of this one. For folks that are just coming in, I'll show you what we've been working on. This monstrosity. The golems spawn in the chamber at the top, and then they fall down, and they get melted in the melting pot. Just like that. Talk about timing. Very, very cool. Uh, we are going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just see who else is live right now. Refresh the old streams. I say we raid Mythical Sausage. We have not raided Mythical in a little bit. They are playing on the Fantasy SMP. That's the same SMP that Pixel Rifts is playing on right now. Um, Fwip is also live, probably hanging out with them on stream as well. So y'all can enjoy that for the rest of the afternoon. Thank you ever so much for the support. Thank you for the follows. Scotsman, thanks for the raid. Uh, Zero, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, you are all fantastic and one of the reasons I get to do this for a job. So check out the Spawn Chunks podcast. Check out the Citadel Cafe podcast. Check me out back here on Twitch at 1 o'clock Atlantic tomorrow, UTC minus four hours, and enjoy the rest of your Friday. Thanks so much, folks. Bye for now.